Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Monday, SpaceX successfully launched their 85th mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 77. One, ignition. And liftoff of Falcon 9, go Starlink, go SpaceX. The booster which launched this mission, B-1063, then landed successfully for the 15th time on the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You. Then this morning or yesterday evening, depending on your time zone, SpaceX successfully launched their 86th mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 629. The booster which launched this mission, B-1068, then landed deploy. successfully for the 15th time and the drone ship is shot full of gravitas. Stage 1 landing confirmed. Coming up early next week, we can hopefully expect to see yet another Starlink mission launch. The Starlink 630 mission is currently scheduled for Monday 27th at 4am UTC or Sunday 26th at 11pm EST. After the integrated flight test of Starship, Musk posted some pictures related to the state of the launch pad. He said, just inspected the Starship launch pad and it is in great condition. No refurbishment needed to the water-cooled steel plate for the next launch. Congrats to SpaceX team and contractors for engineering and building such a robust system so rapidly. John Krauss asked for a timeline on when we could see the next Starship launch attempt and Musk responded. He said Starship Flight Free hardware should be ready to fly in three to four weeks. There are three ships in final production in the high bay as can be seen from the highway. SpaceX posted a couple of cool videos related to the Starship hot stage and separation. The first says Starship's hot stage separation was the first time this technique has been done successfully with a vehicle of this size. Then the next one says watch the three center engines on Starship's upper stage gimbling just after separation. Right before they ignite for hot staging the engines angle themselves outward to direct their exhaust towards the vented interstage before recentering for ascent. SpaceX also posted these super cool pictures of the Starship vehicle lifting off the pad. They also posted a cool top-down view of the Starship launch from the tower. In relation to the information we saw last video from the SpaceX employee, they've since posted more info. This post says, since this post I've learned that the AFTS did in fact not go off. Engine backflow caused an overpressure event in the LOX tank. Down come a rupture obviously didn't help either. Still to be determined on what happened on the ship, but there was some form of an engine anomaly at T plus 7 minutes 37 seconds. To finish up the video today, we have an updated Starship production diagram to take a look at thanks to the Ring Watchers. In addition to that, of course, there is also a booster production diagram to take a look at. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.